Yo, 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 what's up? I'm back again. There he is, there he is. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. He be holding it down. Uh, I'm back again to tell you one, one thing. Uh, what I spent on fuel to get this load delivered up to Defiance, Ohio. And two, how my day got started today thanks to Bear over there who was on his joke shit this morning. He is playing, he was playing games this morning, y'all. Good morning, y'all, but we're gonna get to that in a second. So, it is December 28th, uh, 2022. I am, right now, I'm at Loves and Pendleton, or Woodburn, I think it's Woodburn, Indiana. And I'm shutting it down here tonight. I could've drove to the terminal, but, and get, uh, got a shower credit so I'm a uh, shower here instead of the terminal because uh, people were getting um, not doing a good job clean up after so they to take showers at the modular home and uh, I you know I wouldn't call a love showers clean but it's cleaner than that bathroom uh, after because people be leaving there so scum and so scum and Pubic hair, just be no, just like no, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it. I'd rather use a love shower, so that's why I'm stopping at this club instead of going over to the terminal. Um, and uh, so I'll get a shower before I leave out tomorrow morning since I only have one shower credit. But most importantly, I made platinum for next month, so next month I get two showers a day. Yeah, you tell him. You tell him. Yeah, yeah. Look, now he got to come up here. So look, look at him. Look at him. He's just too much. Uh, so, I picked up, uh, dropped off Eunuch down in Seabury, Kentucky. And then I picked up Victor. And I'm dropping him off at Defiance, Ohio. Because this is a load that was... <laughs> He gets carried away sometimes. Uh, but that was a load that was rejected by... It was a, this is a load that was rejected by the receiver. Uh, and they had it sent back. So, this is also a load I turned down another load to get. And I'm glad I did because I came out ahead of my deductions. Because I took this load over the other one. Which would would have been like an iffy if I was going to come out ahead or not. Uh, even just break even. So I'm glad I made that decision, executive decision to reject that load and take this load because it made it a heck of a lot easier to uh, to uh, make my deductions and come out ahead. Uh, so uh, so I picked up Victor, got rolling. Uh, was on, I only got six thousand and four hundred and some pounds back there. I figure I did the math. I did my averages. I it, by my math, I calculated I'll get nine miles per gallon. So that meant I need to put in, uh, I think, forty-one gallon. Yeah, because I want to put in fifty-one. So all I needed was forty-one gallons to get the run done. But I put an extra ten gallons in for idling, if I have to. Right now, I got the bunker heater running. Which that thing is better than an APU unit. Uh, it keeps you more nice and toasty. And uh, I even have to open up the windows uh, just to give you some climate control and it still be like room temperature back there. So, um, but right now I'm running the bunker heater so I don't have to idle. Uh, now, when that bunker heater is not keeping up with the cold conditions, then I'll idle. Uh, but anyway, I stopped at a Loves in Ingalls, Indiana. Actually, that was a that was a Loves. That was a I don't know, that's, that's Loves. That is the Loves. That was at three nineteen a gallon. I don't know how much I paid for fuel here, but I'm pretty sure it's three nineteen, three twenty seven somewhere. So I'm mad might be a little off. But for it's three nine, I'm going off to three nineteen per gallon. But uh, so what I put in was fifty one point one zero 
gallons of diesel and I put in 9.9 .9 gallons of DAF. So with the diesel and DAF at a regular price, diesel was at 484 a gallon. Uh, DAF was at 418 a gallon. And uh, that would have came to the total of $289.30. But what I paid was $319 a gallon. Uh, so with the DAF and the diesel, my I only paid $204.50. So uh, that is a savings of, I believe, uh, $89, $82, $4. Eighty two uh, about eighty five dollars and some change. Take some, add some, take away some. You get the gist. But uh, so with the color discount, I only paid two hundred and four dollars and fifty cent out of two difference for two eighty nine thirty, um, which is pretty good. Uh, so let's, uh, that's out of the way. So I was down at Love's in Henson, Kentucky overnight. Now I went inside to get me a soda water while I was on my pre-trip. Uh, you know, waiting for my pre-trip time to be over. So I'll go in and get a soda water, you know, come back out. And uh, yes, Uno numeral number one back there. That guy right there locked me out of the truck. Locked me out of the truck, y'all. Now, he usually doesn't bark on the driver's side. He usually goes over the passenger side and he barked out that window over there. So, I, I'm used to that door, even though I leave it unlocked, getting locked. Uh, but, for some reason, he was in the driver's seat. And the time I came back out, he had locked it. Barking at somebody, I'm pretty sure. Some... Uh, so he was playing games this morning. He was playing games. I tried a couple of things so I didn't have to pay money. Um, I tried to add a extra truck driver. He was on his way back to the truck. I asked him and said, hey, can you walk up to the side of the door of my truck? I said, my dog's in there. And uh, I'm going to try to get him to press the button to raise down a window. Because he does it all the time. He knows how to do it. He knows how to do it. He does it all the time. He raises down a window when I don't want to risen down. I'm talking about freezing cold. I'm driving driving highway speed down the interstate. Not a time you want the window down unless it's like burning up on a truck, but at that time it wasn't. But yeah. He knows how to open it. No, he just stood there, barked at the guy. He got close. Barked at the guy. Uh, touching the button. I just needed him to touch the button. Just to get the window to go down far enough I can unlock it and then I can get in the truck. So, that didn't work. So, I go inside because my cell phone I left on the truck. My keys are on the truck. So, I go inside and ask uh, the workers there. I said, do y'all know any locksmith that's around that can come and unlock my truck? I'm locked out. And so, they, uh, they were really nice. They were really nice. Um... Uh, lady, the worker there had me said I could use her phone, but I had to be on speakerphone. So I said, okay, that's fine. So she called this tow truck company, and they get me on the phone, asked me what what truck model uh, I, I drive, and I tell them, and then they said, well, we're gonna give you a call back. Uh, I'll call you. She's like, I'll call you back. So when uh, if we can let you know if we can do it or not. So, 30 minutes go by, uh, 30 minutes goes by, and um, uh, they finally call that lady's cell, that girl's cell phone back, and he gets on the phone, he says, it's for a Volvo, I'm like, yes, a Volvo, 2019, yes, 2019 Volvo 760 VNL, he was like, well, we had to switch this, uh, we had to refer this 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 down to three other tow companies. He said uh, two hundred and fifty dollars for them to come and unlock my truck. I'm like, what? Two hundred and fifty dollars to come on unlock the truck? Like they got to do something special. 
Uh, and they get this truck unlocked. They ain't got to do nothing special. I'm like, so I told him, I said, bruh, I said, that $250 is just too much money to be paying for to get locked out uh, for them to come out and unlock the truck. And I know they make up those prices right there on the spot. It's not like they got a set price. This truck is going to cost this much. They make up that price right there on the spot. And so I told him, I said, look, $250 too much. You're like, all righty, okay. I'm like, okay, bye. And then, so they were going to have, there was a guy that worked there that knows how to use the lockout kit. And um, he was going to help me with it, but he said he doesn't, since my, my locks are not power locks, they're, they're manual locks. He said he only know really knows how to do it with, with the power locks. So I guess because, you know, he can break him. I easily hit the button or whatnot, but uh, I said it's okay. So uh, I, I was going to have him show me how to do the lockout, you know, use the lockout kit. So next time I go buy me one, I know how to use it. But, it, you know, uh, the lady, there was a, the same girl that let me use her phone. She went and uh, contacted another towing company to come out. So I spoke with that towing company, told them the truck I, I drove and everything. And they said, she said, well, they said they'll they'll come out and look at it. You know, my first thought is like, I don't need them to look at it. I can go look at it all day until the sun comes on. I can do that myself. There's no no point of me going and having them just come out and look at it. And they can't even get me, out of, get me on, back on the truck. So I was like, you know what? Okay, I'll let them come out and look at it. So, about an hour goes by, they finally show up, and um, the guy asked me, well, how much the other, was the other guy trying to charge you? I said, that guy was trying to charge me $250, and he said, oh, man, that guy's a crook. I'm like, you telling me? I was like a little predatory. I'm like, he was trying to prey on my desperation to get back on the truck, but little did he know, I ain't that, that I wasn't that desperate to get back on the truck. <laughs> I wasn't desperate at all, because, you know, the load I picked up today uh, don't deliver until tomorrow. And so, you know what? If I need be, I can get a hold of my dispatch so they get the truck down there. It don't matter what time I got down there, because I can go pick that load up and deliver it tomorrow. In the same day, so it wasn't it wasn't gonna be no sweat off my back. So I wasn't like desperate to get back on a truck. I wasn't that desperate to pay two hundred fifty dollars, and I'm like, so I was like, yeah, that guy was definitely a crook. And so he 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 came out, and looked at it, you know, instead of going in through the side, which is by like up towards the corner of the door, right over right over that way uh he went through the 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 top side and was able to just to press the button on the window to get it to roll down because the truck was on it was idling uh, so he was able to do that and i was able to get back on the truck and i was like ask him i was like so how much are you gonna charge he was like he was joking but he said 249 dollars i'm like oh you got jokes today you got jokes today, so uh, he's like, I was like, nah, but for real, how much are you gonna charge me? He was like, seventy five dollars. I said, okay, cool, I got you. I said, you take take debit. He's like, nah. I said, okay, I'll just go in the ATM and get to get the money off the ATM. So I went and got the ATM. I gave him a even eighty. I know he's pocketing most of that money. Uh, so I pocket, I gave him an even eighty because you know ATM don't break it down to fives, and I didn't feel like asking for change for. You know, 20 and the fives. Nah, I wasn't trying to do that. So, I was like, you know what? He can keep the extra five bucks, you know, for whatever he wants to do with it. If we're coming out, and actually get me unlocked from a truck. But, yeah, I told him. I was trying to get him to open up the window multiple times by the time that guy came. And he would not. I even tried asking another truck there that happened to be driving a Volvo just like mine. Uh, which, but he was driving just a, a Volvo b and It wasn't a 760 v &L, so it was just a billion l but I said, you know what? 
We could try it. Ain't worth it. We can at least try it. He tried both doors, did not work. So, thanked him for trying. Just like I thanked the other guy for trying to, to get, you know, agitate my dog enough to get him to roll down a window. And, uh, yeah, told the ladies at the Love's truck stop that. Uh, I appreciate their help. They didn't really have to go out that far for me, and I really appreciate it. They didn't have to do it. They went far and beyond, uh, so I'm going to have to make sure I call uh, call Loves and uh, get that old staff a, uh, a nice compliment because they could have. they didn't have to go as far as they did, and I appreciated it. Uh, so, yeah, um, I got back on the truck, I cussed him out, and I said, you know, you got jokes today, and I choked him, I was like, like you dang on dog, no, I didn't choke him really hard, he most, he thought I was playing, he's a goofy dog, but no, he wasn't, like, he couldn't breathe, it was just like, ah, he always thinks somebody playing when they do that, so it's not dog abuse. He, he's a love dog. He's not abused. You know, I had to get out in the day because he bit my arm, barking at somebody, getting carried away. And I'm like, I know he knew my arm was right there before he chomped down and it hurt. So I got at him. I had to get at him. Sometimes you got to discipline him. Sometimes you got to be stern. I felt bad afterwards, but sometimes it be like that. Uh, so... Yeah, I just want to tell y'all my 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 day got started this morning. It was it got off to a rough start, you know. You know what? The whole entire time I was on duty pre-tripping for an hour and fifty-two minutes. Uh, it was definitely I had to re-edit that. Uh, so I gave myself thirty minutes on duty pre-tripping because that's what it would have been if uh, I hadn't got locked out. So yeah, I'm like, ah. Oh. This dog got jokes. He got jokes, y'all. This dog played too many games. He played too much. He plays. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. You see this dog? But, y'all, that's all I got for you guys, baby. Uh, remember to be safe out there. Keep the sunny side up, the rubber side down. Uh, hope you enjoyed the ride along. Uh, this is the, if you like that beat that was created by my good friend, uh, childhood friend Ellis goes by the name of Stockton and make sure you go out and check out his YouTube channel uh, he's a very talented music producer uh, I gave him the task of creating me a 10 minute beat and he, he delivered <laughs>